Is Ashley back? Yes. I kept having dreams about him. They were really sad. Oh. Was that Carly you were just ringing? Um. She must have finished her birthday party by now. Well, I don't know. Three days can be average for a big one. I hope she brings me back a present. Ready, young lady? I haven't had my breakfast. Daddy didn't call me down. My fault as ever. Well, Leo's having his in the car. I'm sure he'll share it with you. OK. Come on. Bye, Daddy. Bye, honey. Have a lovely day. Feeling a bit afraid, are we? Not using Carly's absence to put on all night with Paddy, are you? Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Just a bit disorganised this morning. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Carly? Carly, where are you? What, can, can you speak up? Are you back in the UK because your dial tone's normal again? I said I'm here. I just wanted to wait for Rona to go. I knew you'd be back. I knew you wouldn't leave us. <gasps> yeah, about that. <laughs> Bernice told me. OK, that you've gone to Spain. Marlon, you freaked I... out about April and it's a panic reaction and I get it, but you're home now, you're home. <laughs> She's going to be so chuffed. Marlon, listen to She's me. She's expecting I... a present from this birthday bash, so it'll be factored I'm taking in. the job. The entertainment rep? I came back to tell you face to face. I'm flying back out later. This isn't mine. It is. You just haven't seen it in a while. It's blue, your favourite colour. Blue. Mine's black. Even if Gabby says that, it isn't actually a colour. <laughs> Shall I do your marmalade, Dad? Yeah. You can have mine if you want. I'm not really hungry. Don't look at me with those eyes. You've missed enough school. Oh, I want to see Dad. You could see him later. Here. I'll be keeping him. Do you promise? Um, I don't know. If the home isn't safe for him. Well, it is. It has been till now. Yeah, but that's not good enough. But the main thing is, he's OK. I couldn't get to the hospital, but Dr Kavanagh came round and he said he's fine. But he could have frozen to death. Yeah, and I will make sure that never happens again. Gabby, please stop having a go at me. And all this is because of April choking. I don't know. I, th I thought we were fine. I thought we were making plans for us here. OK, not just that, other things as well. The emotional blackmail. Her constantly putting pressure on me to be a mum. It's smothering. Which is why I told April we should take it slow, but you told her you wanted to be her mum. I couldn't say no, could I? It's a pressure. I know that. And I love that you take it seriously, but you can do this, What if Carly? I don't want to do it? That, that kid ain't even mine. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm fond of her, but... Fond? I know she is desperate for a mum. In fact, it's a pity it didn't work out with you and Laurel because she'd make a better job of it than I am. She was an alcoholic. Look, I'm just telling you how it is. All right, this is me. And I am sick of pretending to be something that I'm not. OK, I'm still young. I've got possibilities and opportunities. I told you that. I supported you in going for the job. I don't in the want first your support, place. Marlon. I want to do this on my own with no ties to anybody. Which is why you nearly got married five times. Whatever, Marlon. You have to believe me. I'm just trying to be straight with you. When are you going to tell April? started writing a letter. Everything I wrote down, I just came across bad. I mean, what kind of cow walks out on a kid? This one, Marlon, you're looking right at her. So that's it? And you're throwing us over for a bunch of lashed-up tourists? Yeah. It pretty much sums it up. Then there's nothing else to say.
last meet for you. Oh. A present from Emma. Oh. But if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. I mean, did I ask for a load of God cards? Honestly, the cheek of that woman. I got the feeling they were aimed at you and Chaz. Well, so give them to Chaz, then. She's the one that won't give a poor old mother the time of day. She's probably protecting herself. If she doesn't show a real feeling, she can't get hurt. But I'm not the woman I was. And, I mean, I, I gave all that money to Sarah, but... And I, and I was I was trying to show her by... By conning people in her pub. If it was me trying to win a round, I'd prove I could be trusted first. Oh, hi, mate. Hey, anywhere from Carly? Twins have been nagging about her doing a stall at school East Affair. <laughs> She's back. Oh, great. Pop by later. Give her the answer. Oh. There's no point. She was in Spain, not Bristol. Taking a job in a holiday resort. What? I only just found out. Why would she do that? She wouldn't leave you in April. Have you had a row? No. Well, maybe it's not a job at all. Maybe she's just having a little holiday. She, she can't just go. It's, it, it's insane. She is, Bob. She's got a flight back there today. All right, all right, darling. No, it's no, just a bit hot. No, 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 no. Make it stop. Take, no, take it out. Take it out. Too much. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. <laughs> hungry, hungry, yeah. My hungry caterpillar, yeah, yeah. Hungry That's caterpillar. Really right, climb, climbing up the spout. Climbing up the spout. Yeah. You? Down, down came the, the rain. Down rain. rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, I want to go home. I want to go home. This is. Uh, um, no, no, no. <laughs> what do you mean? Is it your mum? No, who, who's mum? Who's mum? Oh, Grace, where Grace is. You remember her. She's nice, isn't she? Just take me home! I would. <coughs> but I don't know where that is. <coughs> We're having a mini practice at dinner time, by popular demand. That often happens when choirs get together, they get swept up in the glamour. So we're wearing costumes then? Am I going to have to wear one of them big ruffly collars? It's not St Paul's Cathedral. Thanks for the tip off, I owe you. Want to share? Huh? Your mate's tip off. What did I tell you yesterday after I lied to the police for you? It's none of your business, so why don't you get back to your hymn books and let me get on with my job? As a petty, fairly obvious criminal. Kyle must be so proud of your fundraising efforts. Are you sure you don't want a cut of this? Because I don't know why else you keep stalking me. You're an arrogant toe rack. Yeah, and you're pushing her, Vicar. Got your message. I was going to come and say bye, obviously. You are not saying bye at all. You don't just up sticks on some stupid impulse you're going to regret in a week. Well, whatever's gone on between you and Marlon, you can sort it here. Please don't do this. Right, everybody out. Come on, we're closing. What? You can't do that. I'm waiting for me brekkie to go down and I've still got half a brew. There, you've got a takeout. Sorted. <laughs> Oh, great customer care, this is. I'm going to put this on TripAdvisor. Do you want me to... Uh... Don't dare start lecturing me, Dad. You are the world's biggest quitter. How many wives and kids have you actually left? Do you want to count them? Did it make me happy? I don't know. You always seem pleased with yourself. Carly... Mum said that you reckoned we'd be better off without you. Because all you do is let us down. Well, yeah. And that if you left when we were still little, it wouldn't hurt as much. I was wrong. No, Dad, you were right. Because we were fine, and now I am fine. OK, I, I live life in the moment like father, like daughter, so don't dare have a go at me. How is he? Yeah, fine. The doctor's given him pills, but obviously he doesn't remember anything, so... Who are we here for? You, Ashley. Why don't you go to the lounge? No. We can't keep him a prisoner in his room. I can see him from here. That's the way, Ashley. Good man. He'll find it. But what if he doesn't? He takes a wrong turn and the door's open again. It won't be. 
We're implementing much stricter in and out procedures and policies. Well, that's very reassuring. I have never lost any resident on my watch before, let alone one dressed as a vicar. He was a vicar. It wasn't fancy dress. I know. And he's young enough that he still could be. That's what throws everyone. I will do everything in my power to stop this happening again. You're not me, Carly. You've done all your running away. You've got it out of your system. But you, you came back after stealing all that money. You faced up to it. Dad... And you, you earned people's respect again, even Brenda's. You totally turned it around. And now, now you're in a great relationship with Marlon. April adores you. Yeah, that's a problem. It's a lot to take on. I know that. But if Donna was here... If Donna was here, she'd be asking why I almost let her daughter choke to death right in front of my eyes. You froze. Nobody knows how they're going to act in that situation. If, if that's what all this fuss is about, you're being ridiculous, it's love. It's not ridiculous. If Marlon trusts me to look after her... You've learnt your lesson. I bet it would be a completely different story if it happened again. You don't know that. You are calm, strong, capable. No, I'm not, Dad. You just don't know. But I do. I do. You're great with April. You're a natural. I'm a natural lump of useless. I shouldn't even be around kids. Whoa, what are you going on about? Where's all this come from? Carly? Because I had a child, Dad. You had a grandson. And I let him die. He wasn't breathing. So I, I kept stroking him and saying his name. But he couldn't. So I just wrapped him up in a blanket and phoned the ambulance. I kept rocking him and telling him he was going to be all right. But I knew. I just knew. How old was he? <laughs> Two months, four days and 16 hours. <sighs> and I never knew about him at all. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know, we just lost contact, I guess. I could have helped you. No one could. He was mine to take care of. And I failed him. No. That's what everyone thought. You should have seen the way the way people looked at me and the questions they asked. It was cot death. Yeah, is, is that what the doctor told you? He said it was a sudden. Infant death syndrome. There you go. But it doesn't happen to most babies. Why me? You know, it must have been something I did. It's normal to think that. And this is why I can't deal with all this stuff with April. You know, I know this is my problem. And I've told Marlon everything, but it doesn't make it better. He doesn't understand, Dad, that I'm so scared. And everything's just been brought back. I loved my boy so much. What was his name? My grandson. Billy. <laughs> He's so beautiful, Dad. <laughs> Heaven and me 
Billy, passing like he did, it's a tragedy, but it was an accident. You know, Laurel and Ashley went through it as well. It wasn't their fault either. You have got to forgive yourself. I've tried that. I can't. Well, that's because you've been keeping it all inside. You, you didn't process it properly. Oh, you know, I wish you'd talk to me. I'd talk to someone. I could talk to anyone. I couldn't even speak. Well, look, we're, we're doing it now, OK? So we can still get through this. Right. You are going to stay here with Marlon and April. And you're going to keep on building your life. Because Billy's gone. But that little girl, she needs you just as much. I can't, Dad. I can't allow myself to get close to her in case anything else bad happens because of me. Because I'm not a good mum. I wasn't meant to be one. Some people just aren't. I, I bet you were a brilliant mum to Billy. I won't believe that you weren't. How could I have been? If I was, he'd still be here, Dad. It'd be four and a half. Carly, love, you, you need to be saying all this to Marlon. He needs to know how you feel. I have done. I've told you this. Oh, look, tell him again. Because he would want to be here, supporting you. Not seeing you go off to Spain being all miserable. That's, that doesn't solve anything. <sighs> Can I go and get him? Please. So, if I work really hard on the high notes, can I sing a solo? I never said that, Kerry. Yeah, I know, but I've got star appeal. I'm a total front woman. As is Benice. I hate to break it to you. Yeah, but has she been in a band, though? Lead vocals, Cheeky Minx, 93. You've never mentioned this before. Yeah, we only did one gig. Drummer had to give the kit back to his nana, so... What? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's Adele. Oh. Drives the wife mad at home. <laughs> I wish she was so keen about going to school. <laughs> I've got another couple of songbirds whose parents would probably say the same thing. <laughs> oh, um, how about your little phone stash? I think we've got a lead. Right. So, uh, you're close to an arrest then? Oh, go on, indulge me. Well, my day off tomorrow's been cancelled, so we better be. Tomorrow? Wow. <laughs> Well, seeing as I like the quiet life now, where might I want to avoid? A certain electrical store in Houghton. They think they're in and out safe. Then we give them a nice surprise. Oh. <laughs> Marlon, I've got her at the calf. What? She told me all about Billy. It explains everything. I wish she'd said. Is she staying? She wants to talk to you. Oh! Long before that. Oh. Hey, hey! Dad? I've made you stew. All my own fair hand. Well, I might let down chop a carrot or two. Is Ashley okay? That's the main thing. Don't pretend you care. Yeah, uh, Doug told me what he said that I upset you. I'm really not interested because your son has just led the whole day room in a blondie tribute. It was. Wonderful. Everybody dancing around the chairs and singing. It was perfect. Well, <laughs> that's my son. Still full of surprises. <laughs> They're lucky to have him. 
Are they really? Carly? Shouldn't have got my hopes up. So stupid. No, she don't mean it. She, she loves you. She just... She, she doesn't know what she's doing. She's got a job. Plane ticket. She knows perfectly well. She wants a future without me, innit? If you have been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com forward slash advice for further information. Stay with us for Coronation Street.